I'm Oliver Inquist, and today we're going to take a look at the H6 Stump XL. This video is also available in Danish, just press the link below. There's no doubt that if you take a look at the H6 Stump XL, you'll see that it's bigger than the H6 Stump. It's actually just about double the size than a H6 Stump with the same amount of in and outputs. The Shark DSP audio engine chip enables the H6 Stomp XL to run up to eight processing blocks simultaneously with parallel stereo pass and a massive library of amp caps, mics and effects. The H6 Stomp XL casing is aluminum and has eight capacitive touch foot switches where you can touch to edit, touch hold to assign, and press to engage. 2.4 inch display and five turnable knobs on the front. Not to forget this nice little new feature where they put the volume control on the back of the unit as a push out of the way button. Because that volume knob. Yeah, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. As mentioned before, it's being powered by a Shark DSP chip. It's the same chip that is used in the Helix Besides, the Helix has two of these chips built in. And also mentioned before, it can run up to eight blocks simultaneously, depending on which block you use, because some blocks are more DSP demanding than others. This unit is built for guitar and bass players. But besides that, I see the potential in using it with multiple instruments as a USB audio interface or for sound design. But let's see it from a guitar or bass player perspective. The H6 Stomp XL can be used as a standalone unit because of its by date 86 amps and 226 effect models. You can also use the unit as a multi-effect companion for your analog pedal board. Or why not a command center that controls your whole rig? And last but not least for the really nerdy analog guys out there, yes, it can be operated in True Bypass. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out oliverinquistmusic.com. Link below. Oliver Inquist out.